hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is going to be on this super simple easy and fun a cut crease that i created i'm going to start off by using the dream velvet foundation i'm going to apply this on my eyes as concealer almost like a base for my eyeshadow only because it was too light for foundations and when i picked this foundation up they didn't really have a lot of uh, different tones that I could pick out from and I thought this was the closest to my skin color But it's just a little too light So I'm just gonna apply that all over my eyelid and then I'm just gonna lightly uh, Set it off with some powder foundation Then I'm gonna be using this Too Faced palette. Oh, it smells wonderful. And I'm gonna be using this little precise little pointer brush. I'm not really sure what it's called. And then I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. Um, I don't know the name of the shades right now. I'm not at home with the palette, so I have to apologize. And my voice is a little off. I am a little under the weather, but I am doing my best, and hopefully you can too. And so then we're just gonna look down that's the best tip i have for you when creating a cut crease and if you're doing it freehand just put your eye down looking down and then you can just follow your natural crease and start blending that out and start sculpting not blending sculpting and i'm just gonna continue and then for the little tail you do kind of want to have it painted up um i know it looks a little bit straight across but when i do clean it off i do kind of clean it off with a more pointing up tail and then i'm going to grab this shade right here i'm only sticking to the very warm red tones that this palette has and i'm just gonna start um building up color and blending it through With this Anastasia brush that came with one of my palettes, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly blend any uh, hard, harsh lines that I have. This is just going to help with the sculpting as well. Blend, baby, blend like there's no tomorrow. No, just kidding. For this leg, you just slightly want to blend. You don't want to over blend because then you will take that whole cut crease effect out. Um, then I'm gonna. This is the only like more natural, cool tone that I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna be applying this all over that line as well, and that's just gonna give it more of that darker definition. Again, the cut crease is just kind of a line blended up. And it's only on your crease so just go ahead and blend 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 and start sculpting and then you do want to make sure your other eye is looking very symmetrical so just continue doing that I'm gonna be using the same little foundation that I use and that's just gonna be uh, going all over my eyelid and this is gonna be the little magic trick that I have to cut my crease it's not really a magic trick but it's just gonna clean it all up Yes, honey, yes. Then you just want to make sure you clean that and it's nice and clean throughout the whole eyelid and make sure you get that baby pointy and sharp. Imagine if this was a wing. This wing would be able to cut all the bitches. Just kidding. We don't cut bitches. Maybe we do. Mm -hmm. So just again, just blending it out. And then after this, um, you're just going to really just set that foundation that you put on your eyelid put this very light color right through here and then you're gonna apply your eyelashes I'm not doing no eyeliner for this look I thought the eyelashes were dramatic enough so I didn't really want to do any um, wing eyeliner but it is a very pretty look Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the way you work it. I like the way you move it. Ooh, la, la. So I got these eyelashes, believe it or not, for a dollar on that Wish app. 
um, one of my coworkers got me hooked up on the app, and I was like, okay, I'm only going to order things that don't necessarily go to my skin, so I figured I'd order some eyelashes, powder some necklaces, rings and stuff like that, like things that I can clean off and make sure they're sanitized, but, um, I am going to water my water line through here. I won't do, ooh, maybe I should do like a little wish how, 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 how. As you can tell, my English is not perfect either. Maybe I can do like a little wish how. How. A wish how. <sighs> you know what I mean. So then we're just going to be using this foundation and I'm sorry if you can hear my cough drop this oh needs to get it together because it is crazy and just make sure you apply it on the neck you want to make sure your foundation always matches your neck there's nothing worse than like having really light foundation or really dark foundation or really orange foundation and not having it match your neck like you can totally tell where you apply it and then I'm going to be using some LA Girl Concealer and I'm just going to apply that on all the normal ones that I want my face to be highlighted. And I am going to be using this NYX Concealer. Um, <clears throat> it is one of my favorite ones but I only put just a little bit of it because a little bit goes a long way with this guy and it's super pigmented and super creamy. And this is just going to allow my eyes to look a little bit brighter, which is what I like. And we're just going to blend this all out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the way you walk it. I don't know why that sounds stuck in my head. But as you can see, it is amazing. Then with some foundation powder, you're just going to lightly lightly set that you don't want to bake before you do this step it is very important sometimes when you get like super cakey or it's like almost coming off that's the reason it's because it's not setting correctly so I am just gonna get those three colors that I applied on my eyeshadow and I'm just going to put them on my waterline just to give my eye that little bit more definition. Now this is my Laura Mercier um, contour palette and it's just a cream palette so I'm just going to apply that to do a little bit of contouring and highlighting. I always like to do the light colors because I feel like if you go Actually, it doesn't really matter, but personally, I like to do the light colors because if you go too dark, you can always apply light, but once you go too dark, like, you would just, like, be putting makeup on makeup, and that doesn't look good all the time. And you just blend it out. And then this is my Milani foundation, and this is in a different shade, a little darker than my skin tone. And then this is just really going to be too set and sculpt out. I'm using this, um, oh, man, see this is the thing when you're trying to be low key and do a video at work and not at home. Hmm. Mm, I forgot the name of that brush, but I'm going to be using this brush and then we're just going to bake everything and this is just going to help set everything at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know I'm feeling it. Now I'm going to be using this lip color right here. This is more of like a gray mauve color or polish mauve grayish. It has a little bit of everything. And then you just going to do that. And I'm using this highlighter I picked up at Marshalls and it's been one of my favorites and I'm just gonna mix these two and a little bit of highlight because I don't want to be too dramatic it was like 11 p.m. when I was filming this video so I just want a little bit of something you know what I mean mm-hmm mm -hmm. I like the way you walk 
Hey, I'm glad Kim K came back to it like this. I was missing her. No, I can't sing and no, I can't rap. But I really like the Kardashians. The Kardashians are like one of my favorites to go to. Anyways, I hope you guys love the look. I didn't spray some fix plus because it's the night time, but I did change the lip color, giving you guys different little options. Hope to see you soon. Love ya.